All right. So I'm gonna before I animate the walk cycle, I'm just gonna do a really quick pass on texturing here. Um, I think this is just called textures.com now, but this is a great website to grab textures from. Um, I've showed this in previous videos, but I'm going to go ahead and show it to you again. Um, so just in a moment here, what I'm going to do is uh, I'll start grabbing some textures from here. Um, I guess what I should do, am I logged in? I am logged in already. Um, I'm going to go over this one more time. File, export. Export selection. And I'm going to export as character OBJ. Yes. Okay. So, here in Photoshop, file, open, character OBJ. Make, I'm going to make this 2048 by 2048, resolution 72, and click OK. And now I've got my um, character in here. So a couple things I'm going to do first is you'll notice that I don't have any texture link there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a brush. And I've been noticing this. One or more materials, is just click OK. Make sure it's uh, a, a standard texture size, 1024 by 1024, 2048, 2048, 4096, etc., etc. Um, this is fine for now. Initial shading group, diffuse, click OK. And now I have that, and you'll notice that I have all of my UVs here. So, that being said, one of the first things I can do when doing this without any um, images or anything like that, um, I can start by just adding color. So, if I'm going to do it that way, what I can do, I, I'm going to go with like a black and gray kind of look to this guy and then like a skin tone maybe on his face, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I'll add a hat or something, but um, what I'm going to do is I'll just start with a basic color. So um, I'm going to use my brush tool and I'm using a drawing tablet here. And. I don't like to use just straight black because black is actually like no color at all. So I like to go with like a darker gray. And here, I'm going to go ahead and just start to color in. I could be a little bit more precise about it. Um, if you do want to do that, um, it looks a little bit more professional. Just go ahead. And begin to and just make sure that you get it all and you can also just using the mouse tool just holding shift and clicking on each one of these edges will do the job as well so I'm going to do that for now and this is a quick way to sort of get some color in there. Now, um, what else I can do, I'm going to continue pushing forward with this. And Keep going, keep going. Could do it also around the arms. And this is just his shirt at the moment. Mm -mm -mm. it'll look a little bit more like a professional texture done this way you could just literally just brush in just everywhere as long as it's covering all the UVs it will work just fine change this to essentials so I get all of my standard tools come on and then do another pass really quickly on 
right around here. So this is one way of doing it. I'll do the others uh, in just a second. You got to make sure you get all of these all the way around. You could just use the fill bucket tool again and it'll fill it all up again and fill up all these blank spots. Um, but whatever, it's your preference. You could run around with a brush tool any way you prefer. Uh, uh, uh. And what I'm going to do is I'll show you at the end how you can sort of do some other cool stuff too. Um, so here's one way. And if I click back here, his shirt's gray. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and do that for the rest of these little regions. And I'm going to do a little bit faster of a job this time. And here we go. Now, if you're wondering how I know which part is which, uh, honestly, I, I'm pretty sure this is one of the top parts of the legs before it comes to one of those, uh, what I'm calling like steel armor braces. Um, and here I'm just running through with an eraser tool, just in case I wanted to mix up different colors or something. Um, now, that's what I'm doing at the moment, just sort of filling this in. Now if we go back over here, yep, that was one of his legs. Um, I'm going to keep doing like so. This is probably the other one. And in just a moment, what I'll do is and I'm going to make this sort of like a skin tight, um, like, uh, not a ninja suit, but more of like a, maybe like a thief, robbery, superhero suit, but like anti-hero, maybe villain. Um, I really, as I was building this, it started off as just the, a reference from Cyclops, from X-Men. Um, and now I have no idea where I'm going with it. Um, I could have kept going with the Cyclops thing, but... Um, I decided not to, uh, just for fun. Okay, so here. And I've got his front underwear, basically, region, and his back in two different pieces, two different UV shells. All right, go through here. Here's the other one. And for the gloves as well, I'll be doing the same thing. Um, what I mean by doing the same thing, I'm going to make it the same color. Uh, I'm calling them gloves, not his fingers, obviously. So um, go ahead and fill that in. All right, and here, this is one of his arms, I believe. And I can tell just by how it's unwrapped by the shape, generally. This looks like the arm. Okay. And you just have to make sure that you fill up the entire UV space. Um, 
I'm going to leave his face alone for the time being. Maybe I, I just for simplicity reasons, honestly, otherwise I'd probably give him a real face. I, I'll make him like a metal face. So like maybe his skin's metal, but he wears this dark Kevlar sort of um, like nanotech suit or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll come up with some buttons to throw on his arm sleeve or something or some kind of digital reading on there, um, which I could easily do. Just I would do it on a texture. Okay. And just keep pushing forward. And you can start to see in just a moment here, I'll flip over to the character OBJ. That he's beginning to get all that color in. So, um, keep going forward. Here. Go ahead and fill this area in. And none of this actually really matters as long as it looks good on the mesh. And that's really all that counts. All this other stuff, this is just generally how it looks. Um, when you see texture from other artists. And it's basically just showing what it is and things like that. All right, so there we go. There's that. Um, these are the gloves. And generally, I would throw this all on separate layers, but because I'm just kind of breezing through this um, for the moment, I'm just going to leave it like how it is. And then when I'm done with it um, and I start to overlay some other stuff, I'll go ahead and add some more layers. All right. Okay. All right, and the gloves. And then you're going to see this guy just fill in. There's part of it. Here's the other part. This is something, I don't know off the top of my head. Um, I believe that actually might be part of the boot, and I'm going to do the boots differently, um, as well as the braces. Okay, and get the fingers done in here too. One thing I don't like about um, the OBJ is that the, the UVs are always on, and uh, if there is a way to ch turn them off, I don't know at the moment. Uh, generally, I'll just open it up in a separate sort of file and just use my UV snapshot so I can toggle it on or off. Um, that's the interior of the mouth. These are each one of the fingers. And notice how they're all triangles. Okay. Again, right here. and fill that in. All right, just a little bit more. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. And that's the thumb. Okay.
Here is the other one. All right, one, two, let me fill that in. Now it's just easier to double check over here. So it looks like I've got that all set then. Let me wrap around. Cool. So I've got this dark tone on him here. On, and I'm just going to call this like nano suit. Okay. For this layer, I'm going to go with a darker. I could go with like a brown or something, but I think a darker color might be cooler. Not totally black, but. And this is for. Eh. All right. From this point, actually, I'm going to start to throw in um, different textures. So here, what I'm going to do is do like um, uh, search for. I'm going to look for some fabric. Um, I know they have fabric in here somewhere. Floors, fabric. And I'm looking for, this looks pretty good, the leather for the boots. Um, as for a fabric that I'm looking for, um, maybe I can find two different types of leather. Who knows? Something that sort of really, really might work pretty well with this. So, even though this is yellow, that doesn't matter too much because you can always change the color of it. I like this one. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab 1024, two credits. Um, I'm going to go with this one because I can always make this. And I'm just going to drag and drop that right on the desktop. So what I'm going to do here is open this. And just to get started, what you can do is begin to run this over. And what I'm going to do because of this is what I'm, I'm going to start to do is I'm going to layer this as a, let's try overlay first. That's cool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer, layer mask, reveal all. And I'm going to up the size of my brush. And I'm going to start to get rid of all of the um, other UVs it could be affecting. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. And might want to go with a hard brush for this. Okay, and I'm using black and white is your um, hide and show. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to start to show you what is happening. Now, I'm going to have tons of seams. I know you guys might um, have the same issue. I'm going to be pretty lenient on it, especially because it's your first go. But. Here, I'm going to continue okay. 
right. There we go. So, what I just did was I overlaid this and kind of got rid of it off of the other UVs, but now you can see that I've got this sort of scaly looking thing on here. Now, one of the issues, and you might not be able, we'll see how well it does. I don't remember where the seam is exactly. Um, it's probably somewhere on the interior of the leg. That's generally where I place it. Um, but you'll start to notice that this is going to overlay directly on top of this color. So I'm going to continue this process just on the overlay, layer reveal all. I'm going to go through and simply clear it off of these other regions. Zoom in if you need to. Okay. And now I'm going to zoom out, take a look at it over here, and you notice I have a his vest there. And there's probably a seam directly down the back. So I'll get to fixing that in just a moment. I'm going to continue pushing forward. And I will also and next do this one. Overlay, layer mask, reveal all. And this is just so I don't affect any other areas. Okay. Change color if you need to, like I do here. And you can start to run things that way. This is the easiest way to sort of start that. Um, in order to fix the seams, okay, let's go back over here. I've got the part of the leg here done. Let's go over here. I know I want to rotate this one this way. Layer return. Layer, layer mask, reveal all, and also run an overlay, as I've been doing with the rest of these. So here, I'm going to start to get rid of all this here. Black, obviously, as I've been doing, gets rid of it, and white um, reveals it. So I wanted to go with some kind of nano techy looking suit. And you can do this with any type of cloth, or anything for that matter. OK, that's that. Go back, double check it. It's starting to come along. And go back over here, overlay. Layer mask reveal all. Okay. And here I notice I have some color, so I'm going to go to my nano suit. OK. 
Okay, fill that in. Now I'm going to go back to the top layer here, change my color, and fix this region. There we go. All right. Okay, Command V, overlay. Bring it over here. Layer mask, reveal all. Change it to black in this case because I want to get rid of all this extra information. And you'll notice I'm doing each part individually. This is just in case I ever want to go back and do, which I probably will at some point, um, any individual adjustments to these textures. And I'm not erasing these again, I'm just using a mask. Okay, go back, check that. All right. So you can sort of see the seam there. Um, it'll probably be far more noticeable when I assign it. And you can see it right here pretty harshly. Um, so I'm just going to finish this off and then I'll go ahead and continue. What you can do to fix it actually while I'm on the topic, um, I'm going to grab my spot healing brush. Sometimes this does it, sometimes it doesn't. Let's see. Didn't seem to do anything. Ah, and, and here's the reason why. Because it's all, I'm, one, I'm on the wrong layer. And two, just to show you it in action. And it's not working. Super. All right, well, let's try 3D. Um, eraser tool, clone stamp. It doesn't look like it has any type of spot healing brush there, so that didn't work at all. Um, scratch that for now. It used to work in older version. You could totally use the spot healing brush directly on the mesh. Um, it doesn't seem like it's working on this one. Um, so I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. Overlay. This one will go for the arm. Layer reveal, layer mask, reveal all. All right. Now, in order to fix the seams, um, you can start that projection process that I showed in earlier videos. Um, I'm going to do this last one. OK. Overlay, layer, layer mask, reveal all. Okay. Go oh, too white. Let's zoom in. Okay, and right above here. Check over here. Let's see what happened. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to exit out of this. I'm going to click Don't Save. I'm going to double click here. And it didn't update my last two that I had done. So I'm going to delete this layer. And 
In which case, you have to... Uh, mm -mm. I'm going to have to redo those last two because I had already closed out and not saved. But you get the idea. You can continue this process. So for metal, I might do metal. I could project skin on his face. Um, but for now, this is where I'm at. Um, keep that process up, and you'll turn out with something really cool. Thanks for watching.